Hey you guys, welcome back to Alleyways, or if it's your first time here, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. And if you haven't already, please make sure to join the Alleyways family, subscribe to my channel, give this video a thumbs up, and turn on post notifications. Not only so you know when I have new content, but also so I can include you in my subscriber shout out. This is my special way of thanking you guys for being seriously the best community that there is on the internet. So for today's video, we are obviously back in the kitchen and today we are going to be trying to cook the gray stuff. Now I've heard so many great things about this from you guys. I haven't actually gotten to try it myself, but Disney Parks did release the recipe. So I thought I would give it a try because it absolutely does sound delicious. Let's get started. So for our recipe, the ingredients we'll need will be one and a half cups of cold milk, 15 Oreos, one eight ounce container of whipped topping thawed, 12 scalloped sugar cookies, one package of instant vanilla pudding mix, and three tablespoons of instant chocolate pudding mix. I'm gonna have this recipe in the description box down below, but as always, if you have any questions, feel free to let me know. Okay guys, so to kick things off, what we're going to do is combine our instant vanilla pudding mix and our milk together. We're gonna whisk it until it's firm, and then it's going to have to sit in the fridge for an hour to two hours before it's ready to be added with the rest of the ingredients. So let's just start there, getting this nice and mixed. So you guys can see that already has gotten a lot thicker. I'm gonna keep going for just a few more seconds, then we'll put this in the fridge. Next thing that we'll do uh, is put our Oreos in the food processor while this is thickening in the fridge. That way we make the most of the time and we prep everything for when this is ready. We got this, it's looking good, the texture is looking right. We're gonna put this in the fridge for an hour to two hours until it's good and firm. While we're waiting, we'll get out our food processor, process our Oreos, and then see where we stand. You guys can see we got the really kind of fine cookie crumbs that I was looking for. The pudding mixture that we initially made has set up in the fridge. Now what we're going to do is pour these Oreo crumbs into the pudding mixture and fold them in. Then the last ingredients we have to incorporate, of course, are just going to be our chocolate pudding here and our whipped topping. So we're gonna fold these in all separately and then once they're all really well mixed and incorporated, we're gonna take that mixture, let it chill in the fridge for an hour, then we're going to get a piping bag and a star tip and we're going to pipe this in on top of our cookies. So let's get going. Here's how we're looking after we've mixed the Oreos with the vanilla pudding. Now let's add in the whipped topping and then lastly, our chocolate pudding. This is looking so light and fluffy, you guys. So here we are after our whipped topping, last but not least, our instant chocolate pudding. I think this will probably bring some thickness back to the mixture. You guys, I'm thinking about taste testing this. And of course, I don't have a point of reference, but after our Dole Whip video, I was talking to my friend Sean, who is Caribbean Beach Mom here on YouTube. And Sean was making a great point about all of these recipes. Part of the magic of them tasting so wonderful is the fact that you're eating them on vacation. Like, I think partially that's what makes all of these so great is that you're eating them at a time when you're really happy, you're with people you love, and you're having a great time. You have no stress, no work, uh, no school, nothing to distract you from the time at hand. And I think that was a really, really great point by Sean. It's like, that's part of the magic, is like eating it at a time when you're in the parks. And I think 
that probably adds to the flavor profile of all of these dishes. And so when we are doing these at-home taste tests, I really do think that's a good point to keep in mind, is being there probably really enhances the entire experience. But this is our completed mixture. I think it looks really close to the photo that we had online. So now we're going to let this chill for an hour, let that instant chocolate pudding kind of do its thing. Then we're gonna get out our bag and our piping tip and get it on top of our cookies. Now, at what I did for the cookie was just have sugar cookies, bake them, and then I got out a cookie cutter that's shaped like a flower to get that kind of pretty scalloped edge. So now everything is pretty much ready. Let's just chill this and we'll be right back. So our gray stuff has sat in the fridge for the time it is supposed to. We have it loaded in our piping bag. I didn't have a star tip big enough to allow it to move through. So we're just going to do the standard end of the bag and I'm going to start as always, from the back of the bag to prevent any from spilling out. Izzy's going to scream. And we're just going to try and make this look really pretty. Okay, there we go. There is our gray stuff. We'll go ahead and do the other two. I'm gonna top them with some gold edible pearls in honor of Belle, and then we'll come right back. Online, they were topped with edible pearls. I'm using some yellow ones in honor of Belle. We all know her princess dress is that gorgeous kind of goldy yellow, and I think this will look super cute on our gray stuff. So I'm just gonna top each of these and then we'll do a quick taste test. I recruited some helpers for today's taste test. Mom's off camera, Mary's here with me. Oh, it's really good. Is it good? Yeah. All right, let's try the gray stuff. Mmm, it's really good. Mmm, mm. this is tasty. It's I would delicious. say this is like light years ahead of the Dole Whip. I didn't try the Dole Whip, but it has a very like, Oreo taste to it. Mm-hmm. It's delicious. The gray stuff truly is delicious. Yeah, no, it's really good. Okay, cheers. Let's shout out some subscribers. Okay, you guys, that is it for today's video. Thank you so, so much for taking the time to watch. I hope you enjoyed it. If you try this recipe at home, let me know what you think. I really love how it turned out. Like I said, I don't have a basis of comparison, but it's really delicious. It truly is delicious. Um, thank you guys all so much. You were so incredible. I want to give a special thank you to my friends Lily Weaver, Emily Brown, and Jessa. So you guys, we all actually just met recently, um, but you've been on this channel actually watching for a while, and I'm so grateful to have connected with each and every one of you. You are incredible young women. I know that you guys are all a bit younger, and I just want you to know that your kindness and your willingness to connect with others with kindness, empathy, and support is truly a gift. And I hope you guys never lose that. It's going to take you so, so far in this life. I want to thank you so much for showing that kindness to me. I'm so excited you're here on the channel. So excited to be friends. I love you all and appreciate you so much and can't wait to see you back here again very soon on Alleyways. Bye!